It's been a week since that massive 8.8 .8 earthquake in Chile triggered a tsunami warning across the Pacific. Since then, there have been four significant quakes in other parts of the world. Local scientists say they are likely related. KITV 4's Jill Kuramoto tells us there's expectation an even stronger quake is on the way. There's been a lot of shaking going on. 8.8 .8 in Chile, 7.0 in Japan, 6.4 in Taiwan, 6.5 in Sumatra. Geophysicist with the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center, Dr. Gerard Fryer, says large earthquakes tend to cluster, with the last cluster ending in 1964 with the Alaskan quake. And now we've had uh, 2004, which was, was 9.1, and 2005, which was 8.8, .8, and now 2010, which is 8.8. .8. Um, I'm sort of waiting for the other shoe to drop. You know, if, I wouldn't be at all surprised if within a year or so we get another magnitude 9. Fryer says the significant quakes this week are likely a result of Chile's earthquake, which has been recorded as the world's fifth strongest since 1900. And plate tectonics is just working all the time. Constantly the plates are grinding together all the time and the strain is accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. And then you give it a big wham. It's not surprising if there are just little adjustments all around the edges of the plates. The U.S. Geological Survey expects 17 major earthquakes, those between 7.0 and 7.9, and one great quake, 8.0 and higher, will affect the world in any given year. Fryer calls the recent spate of earthquakes unusual. So does that mean the Earth is angry? Not really. The Earth is alive, and, and it's just sort of reminding us that, uh, yeah, that it does stuff. You know, we just have to be ready for it. Jill Kuramoto, KITV4 News.